molecular beam epitaxy is one of several methods of depositing single crystals. It was invented in the late 1960s at Bell Telephone Laboratories by J. R. Arthur and Alfred Y. Cho. MBE is widely used in the manufacture of semiconductor devices, including transistors for cellular phones and WFI. Method Molecular beam epitaxy takes place in high vacuum or ultra-high vacuum. The most important aspect of MBE is the deposition rate that allows the films to grow epitaxially. These deposition rates require proportionally better vacuum to achieve the same impurity levels as other deposition techniques. The absence of carrier gases as well as the ultra-high vacuum environment result in the highest achievable purity of the grown films. In solid source MBE, elements such as gallium and arsenic, in ultra-pure form, are heated in separate quasi nodes and effusion cells until they begin to slowly sublime. The gaseous elements then condense on the wafer, where they may react with each other. In the example of gallium and arsenic, single crystal gallium arsenide is formed. The term B means that evaporated atoms do not interact with each other or vacuum chamber gases until they reach the wafer, due to the long mean free paths of the atoms. During operation, Reflection high energy electron diffraction is often used for monitoring the growth of the crystal layers. A computer controls shutters in front of each furnace, allowing precise control of the thickness of each layer, down to a single layer of atoms. Intricate structures of layers of different materials may be fabricated this way. Such control has allowed the development of structures where the electrons can be confined in space, giving quantum worlds or even quantum dots. Such layers are now a critical part of many modern semiconductor devices, including semiconductor lasers and light-emitting diodes. In systems where the substrate needs to be cooled, the ultra-high vacuum environment within the growth chamber is maintained by a system of cryopumps and cryopanels, chilled using liquid nitrogen or cold nitrogen gas to a temperature close to 77 Kelvin. Cryogenic temperatures act as a sink for impurities in the vacuum so vacuum levels need to be several orders of magnitude better to deposit films under these conditions. In other systems, the wafers on which the crystals are grown may be mounted on a rotating platter which can be heated to several hundred degrees Celsius during operation. Molecular beam epitaxy is also used for the deposition of some types of organic semiconductors. In this case, molecules, rather than atoms, are evaporated and deposited onto the wafer. Other variations include gas source MBE, which resembles chemical vapor deposition. Lately molecular beam epitaxy has been used to deposit oxide materials for advanced electronic, magnetic and optical applications. For these purposes, MBE systems have to be modified to incorporate oxygen sources. ATG instability, the ATG instability, also known as the Grinfeld instability is an elastic instability often encountered during molecular beam epitaxy. If there is a mismatch between the lattice sizes of the growing film and the supporting crystal, elastic energy will be accumulated in the growing film. At some critical height, the free energy of the film can be lowered if the film breaks into an isolated islands, where the tension can be relaxed laterally. The critical height depends on Young's moduli, mismatch size, and surface tensions. Some applications for this instability have been researched, such as the self-assembly of quantum dots. This community uses the name of Stranskia Eurocrast Ono Growth for ATG. See also, Pulse Laser Deposition, Metalorganic Vapor Phase Epitaxy, Colin P. Flynn, Arthur Gassad, High Electron Mobility Transistor, Heterojunction Bipolar Transistor, Herbert Krummer, Quantum Cascade Laser, Solar Cell, Ben G. Streetman, Wetting Lair. Notes, Cho, A. Y. Arthur, J. R. J. R. Molecular Beam Epitaxy. Prog. Solid State Chem 10, 157 a Euro 192 doi, 10.1016-0079-6786, 75, 90005-9. J. Cheng, V. K. Lazarov, A. L. J. Vacuum Science and Technology B, 27, 148, 2009. References, Jaeger, Richard C. Film Deposition. Introduction to Microelectronic Fabrication. 
Upper Saddle River, Prentice Hall. ISBN 0-201-44494-1. McRae, WPMBE deserves a place in the history books. Nature Nanotechnology 2, 259 a Euro 261. Bibcode, 2007 NAT NAR. 2259 MDOI, 10.1038 slash NNANO. 2007.121. Shkikin, Vitalia A. Dieter Bimberg. Spontaneous ordering of nanostructures on crystal surfaces. Reviews of Modern Physics 71. 1125 a Euro 1171. Bibcode, 1999 RVMP. 71.1125 Estoy, 10.1103 slash Rev Modfiz 71.1125. Stangl, J. V. Hola 1 half. G. Bauer. Structural properties of self-organized semiconductor nanostructures. Reviews of Modern Physics 76. 725 a Euro 783. Bibcode, 2004 RVMP. 76725 S DOI, 10.1103 slash Rev Modfiz 76.725. Further reading, Fry Giri, P. Sir Averly, L. Trevisi, G. Franchi, S3.12 Molecular Beam Epitaxi, an overview. In Palab Bhattacharya, Roberto Forniri, and Hiroshi Kamamura. Comprehensive Semiconductor Science and Technology 3. Amsterdam, Elsevier pages 480 Euro 522 doi, 10.1016 per byte 978 0 44 453153 7 ISBN 9780444531381. Bibcode, 1997. External links, Silicon and Germanium Nanowise by Molecular Beam Epitaxi,